Root I for the we, have, we have on a radio show and here have talked way too long about the Pirates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told Jared we're yeah. putting the fan in. We, we he tried have. to get it in before I got there today. <laughs> I know. I told him that. I said on the radio. You know what you should do is the shot callers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fact of you bring Pirates. up. You bring, Pirates. 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 God damn it. Ah. Fucking quit it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no you, get, you get one. Okay, you fair. One pirate. It's a mulligan. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Knock on the door. That might be Kutch. Wait, is that Kutch? Oh. Wait, is that? Oh, oh. let's That's go. That's the next guy to pirate. Yes. Listening to the Pine Room Podcast, the home of sports, gambling, entertainment, and whatever the hell else has gone on this week. So pull up a seat by the fire, crack open a cold one, and make sure to get your bets in. Welcome to the Pine Room. All right, everybody, welcome into the Pine Room Podcast, episode 89. Today, we are in the back in the studio. Actually, we were in the studio for 88, but we are back in here today with myself, Coach, Cooley, Jeff, Matt. Uh, unfortunately, Jub can't join us today for our Christmas episode. He, uh, he had some stuff he had to take care of. So we're back in the studio with the crew. How are we feeling today, guys? Doing well. How are you, brother? Not bad. Good, good, good. It feels like winter out. Yes, it feels like winter. Our our uh, our watchdog friends are across the hall right now doing uh, their their what do they call it? Letters to Santa. Letters to Santa. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I think we actually might even have a, a couple letters to Santa that were sent into us that we had to relay to the North Pole. So we may have a few on on here later. But it's it's Christmas time. This is the last episode before. Christmas, mm, yes, which is amazing. It is because you'll hear this on Thursday, and then uh, it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So How many days? Four days yeah. till till guys, Christmas. Do you guys think that um, it, it blows me away? We were talking last night in my household. Literally, felt like just was handing out Halloween candy. Yeah, yeah literally. I agree remember, with that. you and I are yelling across oh, the yeah, street absolutely. from each other. This yeah. night, and then all of a sudden, we're talking. It's four days from Christmas, mm-hmm. and I feel like that yeah. time frame from the thirty first of October. Till now, like it it, was it, night, it, yeah. 100% just like that. instant. I yeah. feel like we reduced it to Freeland Farm. Yeah, That's what I, I, I mean, I really do. Yeah. Like, it feels like it was only like a couple weeks ago. Do you yeah, guys think that this time of year flies more than any other time of year? I think it's because it's so busy. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. You're just you're just running like a nut. And the other thing is like that we can equivalent, and I do agree with that. It's something else we can equivalent it to. It's hard to believe that, like college football's over. I mean, minus obviously the big bowl games, but like the regular season's over. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, just everything anymore to me is like a blink of an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred days of spring training, Jared. I know that's what you're excited that's about. That's right. As you can see in the video, if you you're just listening to this, I have my. Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, Santa hat on. They just re-signed Kutch, so that's a uh, Christmas gift. Huge news. Christmas Huge. gift from Martin the- Perez and Kutch under the tree. Yes. Wow. That sounds like a pen to me. That's a beautiful Christmas. I, I would... Uh, I would like if maybe maybe they'll surprise everybody and get Yoshinobu be worse. Yamamoto and <laughs> yeah. then it'll be everybody. Or maybe on Christmas morning they'll do it and they'll sign him. They'll be a Yankee. They'll shock the the baseball world. But uh, yeah, I have my I have my pirate pirate Santa hat on. Uh, getting in the in the spirit for spring training. If he Most, had to go to the Pirates, he'd go back to Japan. And Most play. pathetic <laughs> offseason yet, in all, since I remember. Of any pro team I've ever I, seen, I, I, it's they've uh, had some bad off seasons, but this one is. Well, one hold is, on, coach. It ain't over yet. Yeah, uh, they could still sign somebody. Listen, it hey, Nick's available to play first <laughs> yeah. base. So. Well, I say Nick try out. You what might are you make do the team. When they sign you got to be better than Rowdy. Jeez, Louise. What if they say? What'd you say, Cool? I said, what are you gonna do if they go out and sign Bellinger or somebody like that? Yeah, I mean, I'll say thank goodness. Yeah. You think but, Cody Belcher's saying, boy, I'd really like to get an offer from geez. the Pirates. I, I don't think a lot of people would. Well, besides Justin Turner, he wanted to come come play in Pittsburgh for whatever like reason. Because stadium. What's yeah. funny, on a radio station the other day, you, you re- reeled off the top three hitters, and I said, ooh, that's a nice lineup. You, you went uh, uh, because you know, O'Neal, O'Neal, O'Neal Cruz, Cruz, Brian Reynolds, Brian and, Reynolds uh, Key Brian Hayes. That's not that's not a bad start to uh, any lineup, to be honest with you. Yeah. But then and then it goes Sow- wow. Sawinski, oh. Telez, uh, Oliveras, who they just signed from the Royals, oh, and then geez. probably Kutch at DH, <laughs> and then Henry Davis, 
Jared Triolo at second base. Isn't the point of G one Bay in center field? Isn't the point of a designated hitter usually a guy that might be able to drive in some runs? Man. It might be a defensive and liability. A, 100, now, hundred percent. Kutch was never a home run Kutch. hitter, even when he was good. One hundred percent, though, it'll be Kutch. It definitely will be Kutch now. Kutch will not hit two twenty. There's no Ooh, way. Two twenty DH. Oh my yeah. god. Why you think he'll hit over two twenty? Over two twenty. Yeah. 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 Two twenty. No, he two might forty. Yeah, I'd say, say two forty. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Not 220. Wow. <laughs> what, what well, in that case, a... I think that changes my outlook. Yeah. <laughs> if Kutch oh, yeah. hits 240, we got a shot. Oh, well, yeah, that changes that. 240, That's a... eight home runs, 42 RBIs. <laughs> that, that, that probably That's sounds good. What was that month last year? He went an entire month without an RBI. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, that was like <laughs> in August possible. or something. Yeah. And he's a year older now. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're yeah, going to he... document this. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so, put just, this down. So 240, eight HRs. This is on December 19th. HR. December 19th. Should say 43? 40. Let's make it 48. Give him 48 Ooh. RBIs. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to get technical, but that wasn't your first answer. What was no, your first answer? Right, 42. <laughs> I think you said okay. 42. You know, is, oh, what did he say? I think he said 42. Yeah. Well, Mark, you're well, fucked. We can go back well, and you are so fucked. So I don't know. I, I'm telling you, he's due for a hamstring or quad tear. It's <laughs> well, he, well, right he this already, moment, he right? He's old as so. shit. He's he, fucking my age. He's old. Well, he's terrible. He, he already blew out his Achilles last season at the end of the season. So, Well, Ooh. yeah, and he ain't Aaron Rodgers. All right, yeah, Marcus, so. is that is that the only stat lines you want to give? Was there anything else you wanted to throw in the mix at all? <laughs> What's the slugging percentage? Well, okay, actually, let's let's do right now. We'll do this right now. So it is – it's – December Tuesday, December nineteenth, five fifteen p.m. down here at the the Pine Room Studios. Will the Pirates get over seventy? I believe the line right now is seventy two and a no half, way. or seventy no seventy one and a half wins. There's I'm no way. I'm saying over. I'm gonna say over, over. seventy one and a half. I'm gonna go over. Look as at well. that. Look, look. Yeah. There's already th- but three. Here's what I think. I think based on what. The teams that are in their division now, you got to remember, the Cardinals are not going to be as bad as they were horrible. last year. The Pirates actually won a few games there. So I, I, I think do. the Cubs are better. I think the Cardinals are better. The Reds are going to be the best team in the division probably. And I don't know. Always, and Milwaukee's always yeah. solid. They got a new manager now. So I, I don't know. The Pirates should improve a little bit, I think. I mean, I, here's they didn't a, sign I, On paper, guys. they have not improved their team at all. Well, they, you, maybe Martin Perez. I'll you give think you the hint. younger guys might get a little better though. That could result in some wins. O'Neill. Well, but is O'Neill Cruz going to become back healthy? Is he going to be? Yeah, I think he's going to we'll start see. the he, season. Right? I mean, yeah, remember, he remember, he was supposed to come back last year, and they shut him down because yeah, because they were he, his, something was not. They were saying he might have a club foot or something. Like, I got. I mean, oh, a club foot. Yeah, there was like <laughs> there's his, shoes for that. Yeah. He'll be fine. <laughs> I think I might hurt his base cleats, running job. cleats that had club foot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, there's a new market for that. Yeah. I, I think you guys are forgetting about their pitching, though. Where, where they're pitching? Well, they're going to bring up Skeens. Well, we just they got Martin Perez. Will they? Schemes, when, when is Skeens? That's that's the question, Coach. Well, what what we, date we does Skeens make this. his debut? I remember way, we talked way, about summer, this. right? Way past the All Star break. Oh, after the okay. Oh, oh wow. After the okay, break, for sure. Uh, I think it'll be before. No, I think it depends on how bad they're. Well, doing. that's yeah. the thing. If we they lose like ten in a row, the first home stand, he's coming up. That's what you. That's what he said. That's what I say. That's what they do with Henry Davis. It'll be they've lost. Like they've got swept like three straight series. They're coming back home and they need some something to bring everybody up and then they'll bring Skeens Mitch up. Keller can't throw two hundred and twenty innings again. It's just <laughs> it'll, I mean, as of now the rotation the rotation is it'll be Mitch Keller, Martin Perez, Marco Gonzalez, uh Luis Ortiz, and then uh Johnny Holstaff. Yeah, basically. Basically, yeah. but no, I, I do they know. still have Smith and the Jigba? The other yeah, one, they, the do, they do have. Well, then that might change my yeah, outlook. He, here. he played like the first couple weeks of the season, and then he never, we never saw him again. So, <laughs> oh, you never know. Yeah, you do. Hey, wish yeah. yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. Give us something to root for. Young Matt, we, have, we have on a radio show and here have talked way too long about the Pirates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told Jared we're yeah. putting the band in. He tried to get it in before I got there today. I know. I told him that. I said on the radio. You know what you should do is the <laughs> shot callers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fact of you bring Pirates. up. You bring, Pirates. Uh, uh, God damn uh, it. Uh, fucking quit it. Uh, uh, oh, no, you get, you get one. Okay, you fair. You get one Pirates. It's a mulligan. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That, that might be Kutch. Wait, is yeah, that Kutch? Oh! Wait, is that Kutch? Oh! 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 O
let's this go. This is the next guy the Pirates will yes. sign. Yes. Yeah. yes. This, this will be the next guy the Hold Pirates on. sign. Doesn't that look like the first baseman already? Wait. Yeah, there's no. Rowdy Telez. Yeah. <laughs> he got toilet paper. Hold on. Uh, uh, Santa. Uh -oh. Santa. Oh. Santa. Santa must have had to go to the bathroom yeah, right out of the door. Oh, I heard you talking about the pirates, so I took a big dump instead. <laughs> well, that play looked better full. than their season. Well, if wow. you're just listening to this, as you can hear, oh, uh, oh, Santa oh, oh. has made it into the Pine Room Studios. I, I, there was a rumor that he would be here. I can't believe he actually made it. Hi, guys. <laughs> That's even better. Santa out. job in the, the house. Job, job has made it. Job. Happy Christmas, job, guys. Happy. Job is Santa. Kutch had 43 RBIs last year, Coach. Yeah. Cousin so. Eddie, shitter's full, right? He had 100 hits right on the dot. What he hit? hit? 256. <laughs> yeah, see, 220, you're lowballing it. Yeah, but it, it, two years ago, he hit 220. So, uh, Job, here's the big question. If you, by chance, and not rooting this uh, against you, your eyes going bad in the future, would you rock a pair of glasses that are obviously medical glasses or, excuse me, scripted glasses? Would you rock those? I think so. I agree with that. I think so. I think I could pull these off. Uh, without a doubt. My head's a little big, so they're they're kind of riding off the nose. But I, I think that would be like an appropriate frame for you. Yeah. yeah I like That's it. actually a good suit. You look good. I'll yeah, tell you what. Nice he does. Suit. He played a really good Santa, dude. Do you sure. feel like Santa when you're in a suit? Yeah, but it's too hot. <laughs> it's you think too hot. Do so. you think Santa's hot? As in yeah, temperature? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Both. Hey, well, He's got to be hot. Be no, careful with that. No, but uh, the guys are out there doing the letters of Santa. It's incredible. It's absolutely oh, yeah. incredible. unbelievable. To see yeah, but I think you could walk into a mall right now and set up a shop, and Without nobody would say a word to you. Yeah, but I think my face is too young, though. I, they can see past the, the mirage. You got to get some prosthetics. Yeah. yeah. Gotta, we'd have to doctor your face up. And I got to sure. work this gut out because this is too big. I mean, I can lay my head like this. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad gig. You're, you're, pretty, you're pretty hefty. I'm pretty bulbous, but my arms I are skinny. I he's supposed to be big, isn't he? Well, Jolly old St. Nick. It's a little, it's a little up high. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you, got you. Got, you got a big chest. Big Swallowed chest. a medicine ball been, and it's in your you've throat. You've been hitting <laughs> chest a lot. He's got yeah. shit tits. The Santa, yeah, he does have <laughs> shit tits. You got, you got that a boy. poop filled booze. Well, the Santa hit a lot of chest in, in the North Pole? Probably got to chop down, down packages and hey, stuff like that. I assume he just eats. <laughs> That's hey, that's hey. He's like he a bear. That's yeah. like, and then he yeah, loses right. all his weight on Christmas night. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Somebody wait, Soup Soup said that Santa we were playing a game and uh it's like you you guess you you somebody said you like Matt would pick a word. Right. And then I have to just say random words and you give me a percentage as far as how far related it is. So for instance, if I'm thinking baseball and you say hot dog, I might say twenty percent because okay. it's related yeah. a little bit. He was thinking of Santa Claus. And I said superhero, and he said 98%. Yeah. Mm -mm. And is Santa it, Claus a superhero? No. I don't know. I've seen commercials that he is portrayed that way, but I don't no, know. I, that is not I mean, if you can fly perception. in a sleigh, maybe the reindeer are the superheroes. <laughs> yeah, I just great. found Santa Claus's official dimensions as according to the uh, Denver. Can we guess on this? Uh, it, yeah. According to the. Shit, I lost. We got a guess. I think it was Denver Gazette. Uh, yeah, go ahead. And well, let's Denver. let's hope it's not the same people that are giving us the ten best Christmas songs that you rattle Jeez. off. Well, yeah, and we'll we'll, we'll I'll pull that, that up later. You'll have Santa like an Ethiopian that list He's that like, you had. Yeah, yeah. I'll pull <laughs> six that, three I'll pull one that. six. Horrible, horrible <laughs> yeah. list. Showing ribs and everything. Yeah, so I I do have his official dimensions. I don't. I, I guess this is. The, I guess they've seen official him. Official dimensions. So, yeah. right, so we can guess. Yes, yeah, so go ahead and give me some guesses. I'm gonna here. say he's six two. And he's, I'd say it's too he's tall. 380 oh. pounds. Holy shit. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm saying I'm saying six foot. No way he's that heavy. Uh, two, two, 285. Okay. Six four, 295. Six four, damn. Six foot, 245. Five ten, 260. Matt was the closest. You almost fucking nailed that. <laughs> five seven two sixty. No, five, five seven. seven. Wow. 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 Well, I knew he would six, be less than four. six because most of the people in, in, yeah, on the planet are below six foot. Don't they always portray him as like a big tower? Not, no, not at all. I would. I actually, I, as soon as you said six foot, I'm thinking, man, because that's where I was on the track. Yeah. I don't think it was. I knew it was obviously warm and fuzzy. He's but like a little cherub. But here's the yeah. deal. I guess they couldn't make him too too big because then he'd really scare the fucking. He out. can't fit in the <laughs> yeah. Like Jesus. You're right. And remember, he visits all areas of the world. There's See, a lot I of thought he was humongous. I thought he was. That's what I thought he was like a like. Because in Polar Express, man. he like he's like twelve feet tall in the Polar Express. Yeah, I wonder where that official list or that official staff. It was like from. It, uh, never heard that it before. Was, it was from. Uh, 
Yeah, it was from the Denver Gazette. I don't know. What. That guy was probably it says Santa's me- right. <laughs> the, the title of the article is Santa's Measurements May Surprise You. Official numbers released. Official. Hmm. So I don't know. They got his 40-yard dash. I'll, uh, I'll pull up those, I'll pull <laughs> up those really Christmas cool, songs. That um, He might try for the minors. <laughs> yeah. Cooley, yeah. what are you asking for for Christmas? Uh, the football? A Bucks uh, playoff win. Todd Ball was to be fired. Dang. I think that's odd when people t- people in Kroger today asked me. I was getting a case of water. What? What do you want for Christmas? Like, Who asked you that? TT. Oh, okay. TT well, and I some mean... uh, some. Oh, and Denise say, "What do you what do, what do you want for Christmas?" Like, like, I see. Well, here's my thing. I, I feel like that would be okay. I never have a good answer, if you were though. if you were like. Seven years old, and you were coming well, through with a with I a mean, fucking. Yeah, but I don't uh, think that's a bad yeah, boy. Like when he got the basketball, he said, "Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah." But you had a basketball one time. Oh, it was the best gift I ever got. A basketball? Oh, it was awesome. Well, well, yeah, he told this story the somewhere, didn't yeah. he? On the radio? Yeah, it was. Were on, you not yeah, here? He when? never would have broke the free yeah, throw record. Yeah, wait. Right. Thank you. Cool. I don't so think I heard. No, this we story. vividly have just talked. Yeah, I mean, we. I don't think I was around. I mean, it was a. It was on the show. Tell the story. Wait, yeah, well, it definitely was wasn't another I got a basketball, and I absolutely loved it and went down to 24th Street when we just had a half court, not a full court. I shoveled the – because back then it snowed here, back <laughs> when, when we had normal winters. <laughs> right. And it snowed here, and I shoveled the, um, the uh, court and shot for, like, hours. It was great. Was it, what the ball kind of, wouldn't dribble much because when it gets cold. It what doesn't. kind of basketball was it? I think it was a Rawlings. No, it was a Voigt. 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 Ooh. It was a void. Oh, wow. But you know what I think is actually super cool about that? Because obviously, I, I think it's something so simple yes. that it can make somebody happy at oh. the end of the day. Now, if you just gave a kid a basketball, like, uh, right like now. that's what we said. We said it now would be no, like the kid would roll. We talked about yeah. this. Yeah, cool. I, I, cool. I, you remember, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was definitely not here for this. I, I, no, because yeah. Jeff, I asked No, you, it was on the radio, Jeff. I, no, I, I don't think so, because really? I think I asked Jeff what his favorite gift was for Christmas, and you said it was a Nintendo. No, I remember we talked... Um, PlayStation. That was birthday. We talked about birthdays with oh. that. We talked about birthdays, because well, remember I told you I got uh, up yeah, at, I before my dad went to work that day, I got up at like 6 in the yeah. morning so I could have my gift that morning so I could play it all day. Hmm. Yeah. Well, what's your guys' favorite gifts ever for well, Christmas? I can, I can give you the answers, I'd, I'd, for sure. Probably the, Maggie. Because we actually now, Jeb, we're talking about this because we bridged this to Christmas. Because yeah, we did, I, we did talk I, about because I said uh, yeah. scooter. Remember, I said it had the pegs yeah, on the back. Yeah, yeah you're was, right. Yeah, oh, yeah, we did. We did talk about this. Jeff was the, the days like yeah, running, I thought the, I was cool, but the aircraft carrier too. Remember, I got the uh, I got the oh. GI Joe aircraft carrier. Oh, that's, I, well, that's a big one there. I was. You remember that shit yes, back in the day? Yeah, like yeah, it dude. took up like a whole corner of my living room, dude. I was pumped. That like GI Joes were awesome, man. Yeah, GI Joes was the shit. I still have all that stuff. I bet you came up with some good. Storylines starting to be, become a little bit. Uh, I would hope. Oh yeah, it's value. I, yeah, I would hope. It is all the Star Wars stuff is too. Yeah. It's no, Star yeah. Wars stuff. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's worth a lot. Tell them about tell them about the tennis shoes that we found uh, when we were cleaning the basement. Oh yeah, you yeah. Guys. So so my mom had been looking for these shoes forever, and I actually remember the, seeing these a long time ago. Um, we had a, apparently when we were infants. I don't know if you did. Uh, did you yeah, buy them or think, mom bought yeah. them? We were infants. Uh, bought. Jordan 12 taxis, and nowadays these <laughs> shoes are sought yeah, after. But they're, these they're, are, they're, they're like this big. They're size one. Yeah. They're like they're, yeah. they're, they're, an inch, they're an inch Still long. In the box. The original boxes, pristine. so I looked them up. The most expensive I found them for, I found one for like $50, but then I saw another pair for like like $2,000, like yeah. $3,000 worth. Uh, these little Jordan 12 taxis. They're still in the box. It's little, incredible how much money awesome. was spent on those, and the kid wears oh, them like God. once or yeah. never. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, they're in a great condition. Because yeah. Well, they should be. You guys probably weren't playing basketball. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 I was going to say, you probably, were, you probably never saw the, prob- the bottom probably never nope. saw the ground. No, it was probably, just if, your if anything, you're you're sitting sitting in a, in a, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe if you were in a walker. If yeah. you're, it is wild, though. Actually, the other day when we went, I think it was the uh, hockey game, the night of the wrestling, I think Tom – uh, bought a new pair of Jordans that was fucking fat as hell. Uh, that I haven't seen Jordans actually like a brand new pair. Of those ones, they're actually really nice. Um, I was never, never, never a shoe guy. I never. That was never something that I, I always lo- like look to get. I you know this is actually a fun fact, and I'm looking straight ahead because I can't turn this way else. So I'm gonna <laughs> lose my. <laughs> Santa's got a stiff neck. <laughs> I gotta, uh, yeah. Um, but I always remember when I was growing up, and we would go to like. Stephen Barry or uh, uh, I don't know at, at some kind of shoe place and get shoes. 
I always wanted shoes like you, Matt. Like, I remember being at, at parties and stuff, and I always saw your shoes, and I always wanted to have shoes like you because you always had nice shoes on, but they weren't, like, overly, like, gouty, like, basketball yeah. shoes. And I just vividly remember having that. <laughs> but I never spent – I never I, – I, I guarantee I never spent money on shoes over probably – fit 40 bucks like me, oh, maybe i Those get that. shot I, i'm saying like as i get older like when i was a kid a little bit like the shoes but now it's like my shoes in my car i'll just wear and drive until they fall <laughs> apart yeah. wow. like they're, they're not they're that's not about in, where i am that's i mean they don't i don't do anything for me i only do point a to point b i wear them to walk around and right. i use it to drive and that's it I, I don't. I just, I'm not into that anymore, especially where I live. Like it's just not. Conducive. I had one pair of it's nice. Like we live in a, a Palm Wait, Springs. John. I think I had one pair of nice shoes that were given to me when I was younger, and I thought they were the coolest thing ever. And they had they were Nikes, and you could take the, you could take. They had like little cellophane uh, sleeves in them. You could change oh, the look, the, the, the color. And stuff, yeah. And I thought those are greatest. And I put in. Light blue and yellow because I thought I'm colorblind and I thought that was mountain the Mountaineers colors and I wore them to school and I was like hey check these out and, I was like, <laughs> and nobody you, cared you were telling everybody hey, yeah nobody <laughs> like Go nobody Mounties. cared and then I realized why am I wasting like why am I wasting my time on shoes that no one cares about what somebody's gonna say all oh, nice shoes that's it but on the other hand do you guys ever look at a person's shoes and sort of j not judge him but say oh yeah definitely he looks judge. like uh, yeah, he's yeah. got his shit together like yeah. and i don't even know how to explain this because i know that doesn't totally no, no you're qualify. right about well, well, like those lot. big 100%. those big air those big white ones well yeah the well Velcro? it could go, that's it could go two a ways well like that's a guy it, that's yeah, one it could go two ways it's like you either see a guy with like nice like wing tips on you like yeah this guy he got his shit together. Or you see a guy in Air Monarchs, the white Nike shoes the, that the Air, the old, the the Air, Air Monarchs, Dad the shoes. New Balance that the, are the heavy way. New yeah. Balance with the big sole. Oh my god. They goodness, weigh like a yeah. hundred pounds. But yes. if you see like a dude walking down the street and he looks sort of normal and he has a nice pair of like Asics or Mizunos on, you say that, that yeah, the least, guy might he's got it he's got some sense. Yeah, but what if but you see yeah, like imagine he might have an IQ above eighty <laughs> on or yeah, but like what if you what see about hot tops and like bright blue hot tops? You know, discount. Like I, I think if you're yet. twenty, like if you're twenty, <laughs> twenty five, thirty and above, if you're twenty five, thirty above, and you're wearing high top basketball shoes that are bright neon with, oh, Jeff, with I think you could lower that age a little bit. What, yeah, they, like I didn't get it like. You could start down to like, yeah. like if you're not playing a like, basketball on a basketball team. Twenty. Oh, that always made me mad too. People buying basketball shoes, but you don't play basketball. What's the point? And you guys, I'll be honest. With you, now I got to take back my gift that I bought myself. You asked me what I was excited for. I bought <laughs> high top green neon green. <laughs> oh <fucking> no! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I, I was actually gonna rock them on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I was looking forward I, to I, it. Yeah. I say I another tell coach about the, the shoes. Oh, those are oh, awesome. Yeah. I had I had a couple pairs of those. Those are awesome. A guy with, with dress shoes that are all scuffed up or dirty. Mm -hmm. Dirty. Oh, oh, that's God. usually a bad sign. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy what, creases. What about I was thinking too, the like the pumps. Like all of the like fad shoes, like the the Nike shocks. The Reebok Zigtex, like the Roche's. all, of, yeah, the Roche runs, like the pumps, all, like broke it all, broke like the barrier. When you say Jeff, like uh, that was like sure. the biggest thing mm -hmm. ever. That oh, was so awesome. You guys remember? Heelys. Yeah, you guys remember Heelys? Oh yeah, <laughs> Heelys were the coolest <laughs> <A> walking <laughs> thing. They were the shoe, they and they had a. Now that, that shoe. was a good idea. The Heelys, Heelys were sick. They had, yeah. they had the, the they, they little were, divot in the. They had a little. They were. It was good. Carved out. They were badass. It was carved out on the heel, and it had a like a skateboard wheel. So you oh, yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I, do I, I vaguely remember those, but the pump, man, that took over the world for a while. Well, actually, I'm going to go one further than that because you guys will definitely not know this. You may, but you will definitely remember. Do you remember the kangaroos? Oh, yeah. That had the side pockets so you could yep. put some chain back the in the day. Pouches, yeah. Like a dollar worth of quarters. What? You could actually have something to spend. No. Well, well, why no. I don't remember down. those. Excuse me? I don't remember no. those. No. They were actually very, very popular back yeah, in the world. Wait a second. Hold on. Kangaroo. Why the hell would you put coins in your shoes? Like if you were at the gym, like say you were at the park as a kid. Like when we're talking young, young, and you, you thought you were big because you had, you know, a little bit of money in your side shoe or whatever. Yeah, we had to carry cash so back then. didn't have cars. You go, hey, hey, it's hey, crazy. Hey, honey, you, you want to, you want to, want to pop? You want to pick you up for a quarter? And and you Snickers bar? Well, if you went to the out. Y, Jeff can remember this. Like if you went to the Y and you needed to call your mom or dad to get a ride home, you had to take change with you. There you go. Like you had no yeah. other way. 
Like hit, occasionally, hit when, when they selling, knew, when you, they got to know you well enough at the Y, they might let you use the Y phone for. But you know, you, you don't. You so couldn't you, depend on so that. Jeff, you walk in and you're playing basketball, and you get done, and maybe your girlfriend's there, and you guys are, and you go. Somebody goes, hey, does anybody have change? You go check this shit out, and you yeah, put it up on the table, shit, and you dude. go in and you get at. I start going like this. <laughs> <laughs> I play. There's games going on, and some guys would lose their coins out of their shoes oh, or their pants because like it's not yet a roll it in your sock or yeah, like. How it, did it go? You know, what, how do we even but survive? How did actually, it stay in the pouch? This well, may be actually a little bit too. Actually, now that I'm thinking about age wise, like I definitely wouldn't have been like I. We were talking young, young. We're talking oh, those probably kangaroo ones are like, like probably really first, young. second, third grade young kind of thing so like it would be like you'd have instead of maybe putting the quarters in your pocket it was at the at the time you thought you were big shit wait now, so where, where was now. the patch on the shoe like, like where, on the was side, it side yeah. the, was it like a zipper or was it like a i want to say it was velcro yeah like it velcro just like i, think like I, like, I like gotta look these patch. up yeah look at okay, I'm look these these up. Up. obviously go. they obviously didn't last very long no. so when you guys go to buy now i'm, I'm gonna t- throw this to jeff and matt you go to buy a new pair of tennis shoes. I, I have a I have a like a sort of an unwritten rule in my mind. I will not pay like one hundred and fifty dollars for yeah, a pair, of, pair of shoes, yeah. but I will not pay like forty dollars either unless they are like a, a ninety dollar pair and it's, it's on clearance sale, and yeah. they're they're nice looking. And I get that. So wh- where are you? Uh, ah, yeah, there, there, there they yeah. are. Oh my there god, they are. there well, they are. Little those. side pouch right there. Little Velcro. All right, Jobber, you put those up there. I'll tell you what. Everybody knew. You knew. Yeah. And, and knew. at some point in our lives, those might come back. With actually, I'd that say would surprise they're, they're me. they would be on their way if right you're, now. If you're watching us or listening, just Google kangaroo shoes. You'll find a picture of and them. If you, yeah, if I was trying you, to pull them up, but I messed it up. If you like start to fad, people might like, wow, that's really cool. <laughs> I, Champ would look good in those. Anyway, that, go, go. I'd be honest. I'm kind of all over the board when it comes to shoes. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I think I keep shoes for a really long time. So do I. So, Me too. The, so that, but at the end of the day, like I do have a a decent volume where I don't wear them out. So like, so okay. so I don't mind paying a little bit of a penny for a shoe because I know that I'm gonna keep them for a while and they'll, they'll still be okay. So now, but it, you, it's when, probably fucking dumb. But when you say a volume, give me a, a just just tenant not work shoes, just or, or boots, just tennis shoes alone. Give me, give me a, give me a ballpark. How many in your I, closet? Oh, I don't know. Um, I really don't know. Fifteen. Um, yeah, that's probably fair. Maybe a little bit more, something like that, but nothing crazy more Matt, than that. Matt, where are you? I uh, probably have. Somebody like yeah. about eight pairs of shoes, probably. But eight, see, that's eight. a lot though, too. At the end of the day, because you're about, able to cycle through. I'm about eight to ten. Yeah, yeah cycle through. And think? I mean, some of them obviously are like junk shoes that yeah, I'm wearing yeah, yeah. for painting and doing yard work. Shoes. Like I have a couple pairs oh, that, are, that I hands oh, down. Sure. That yeah, I you got your like pottery. intermediates, your daily ones, and then you got <laughs> like the ones out. that you wear when it's a little bit nicer to, to yeah, wherever. And then you got your shit shoes and you got your work shoes. Do you yeah. do you do you base your shoes on whether there's a chance you're gonna spill food on them? Uh you know what? I guess food oh, or or beer. Let's say you're going the the, the elements mm, would dictate the hands the down the element. The would ele- that like you're good, you're medium, you're dirty. Shoes the element or? would dictate that yes, without I agree. a doubt. Yes, I agree. without so, a doubt. So if you're going to a Nailers game and you know the floor sticky, you're going to drink like a maniac. There's beers <laughs> underneath. There, you're going to be eating something that has a real good chance of dripping. You are going with your middle range. Middle to lower range. I would probably definitely choose a darker shoe. A darker, a darker shoe. shoe. Oh, so definitely. Without a doubt, so it doesn't look. Uh, but I don't know how I would. Cho- I would. Yeah, I would. Do you have a lot? Of, do you wear a lot of white shoes? Because yeah. I don't like wearing white shoes. Like they get all shoes. scuffed up. You were talking. That's funny because on the way to the Naylor game that one night, because I did have on all whites, and you were saying, I don't know how you do that, but you said hands down. Oh, you I would saw. Not- we were walking in. I saw you had like really nice white shoes on. Yeah, I was like, like you would never. If do I that. wore those that that night, that I would have <laughs> nacho cheese right on the toe or something like. Yeah, no, go Pizza literally sauce. from his chin right to his toe. <laughs> Pizza sauce, like anything. Yeah. So, yeah, my, so my shoes go down so fast. I maybe have right now three pairs of shoes that I wear. Maybe. And how about like, comfort? Does comfort matter to you guys? Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah it matters got, all to I me. Got, I got. Flat, I mean, I, I don't care if the things look bad if those are comfortable. Comfort, I, agree. I mean, not like to no. wear. I don't like to wear. I don't like those flashy yeah. colored ones. I no, can't because they don't match with anything I wear. I can't wear. I don't like the not like kind of match because there's nothing worse than a guy with got green, red, blue, uh, pink, orange, all in one what do you fucking think, thing. What do you guys think? And oh, I see this. 
Like, Jared, you have Nike shoes, but you also have Nike socks. What do you think a guy with Nike shoes and Adidas socks? Bothers the fuck out of me. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it just depends. Like, I don't, I can't even see your socks, though. Like, I mean, it, right well, there I can, but, like. Do you, what do you think of that? Um, cool? I'm, I've always been about yeah. matching brands. No, to me, matching color is so much more important than matching really? brands. I agree with, I, I'm not saying that you should do it, but if you can, if you can, uh. I mean, if you have to do it, uh, to me, it doesn't make a difference. No, I totally agree. Footies, totally agree. Or, footies or, or ankle, like uh, above ankle socks, what do you got? Well, I like ankle ones because, I don't for whatever reason, they help my circulation. I, I don't know why. I'm like, I shouldn't have like to worry these, about like that. Like these ones? But my, my Achilles like tendons, these. like if I wear oh, those no, really no, low no, socks, no, it, hurts, it hurts mine. I, like, real bad. I, I used to wear those ones. Too short I can't me. like, I'll do both. I can't wear footies. Like, I, I'll get uh, blisters on my, my ankle. So I, I wear like... Like higher socks, yeah, that's not right. like up to my knees, but like no, not, not, not like those outfit. knee, those therapy, <laughs> not like what baseball are your, what socks. Are your, what are your casual socks? I li- actually probably would rock more of those, but mm. I do wear those from time to time. But I probably rock those more. What about the ones that I see? I like the ones that are just above. No, they're not footies. Like right not. by the ankle. Yeah, the ankle yeah, bone. Yeah, I can yeah. do those. Yeah, I wear those. Mm. Black or white? Does it matter? I got uh, all colors. Yeah, I got gray I on now. Gray. These are gray Jordans. I think. Yeah, something. Like <laughs> Yeah, so uh, see, that's, I that's, think a lot of it would depend on like that matches, yeah, but I yeah. probably would not rock like yeah. It would the socks would have to match whatever I'm rocking for sure. Why? Uh, it's about looking good. Look yeah, good. Feel good. I think it's just. I mean, Santa doesn't have to worry about that. There's though, some you're things good. I do life, wear a lot I, of red. Like you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you don't want to look like. I you just don't want to look put together. How you look. Do you guys? Yeah, but, but I. Oh, go ahead. Go John. ahead. Go ahead. Well, because I'll be honest, you guys may be. Well, no, you guys can probably. Con- Did you go through that phase? And you go through that phase where you know, obviously, you are kind of prim and proper, and then you do hit that phase of like, man, I don't really give a fuck what right. I look yeah, like. Yeah. I think you because yeah, when I, you're more impressionable, like in high school times, I'm sure. You but know, like you I, see, back, I was on the reverse of that. Okay. I, I didn't care at all. <laughs> I, on, I would wear. I, I but here's the deal. That is a great place to be in life, though. At the end of the day. Now, granted, I do think there is. And I'm not saying this is you. I do think, kind of point to your dad, there is a such self-respect thing, and I agree with what Tyler said. You look good, feel good kind of thing. Um, But also, to get to the point in life where you don't give two shits what people think on what I'm wearing, I think is a pretty cool place to be in life as well. In high school, I literally didn't. I I wore, like, matching jumpsuits with stains on them, and I I didn't care. I wore shoes. I got a shit stain on the back of my Santa (laughs) hat. I wore shoes that didn't match my my outfit. I literally didn't. I just didn't care. Jared, when you left the house with him, like during school days, and that was that. Was there any embarrassment on your end at all? Like, did you ever looking like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? That's what you're walking. To school I, today? I would say, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that it embarrassed me, but I mean, I I definitely am like thinking about well, why. Well, I know why because he's lazy and he didn't care. He didn't care what he didn't care what he wore. I, but I, I just didn't. But care. it was just like I, I. He would wear. He I I remember so vividly. He would wear blue park baseball hoodie with blue. Yep. Park yep. park baseball sweatpants and he would be a blueberry and it would yeah. be a, See, I, 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 I don't I, I can't do that. I, I hate wearing all the same Blue color. Right, right. I, that's mm-hmm. it, to me it's just certain colors go well together and they don't. Yeah, so you oh, have yeah. all your neutral colors if you got if you wear if you're wearing like all of one, like especially if it's like a bright blue or something <laughs> it's it's never works very well uh, i will that say might this. get you th- like people would think that you might be a little slow <laughs> well <laughs> i definitely I, <laughs> yeah I, no. I, listen i definitely looked like if you saw pictures of me <laughs> but i think that was also a c- more common thing well and i think too. a lot of people knew that you just didn't care like yeah. i think but, that but they just, gave that you was guys those you full sweatsuits like that yeah. See, the schools shouldn't do that. Like, the teams should break it up. Like that's the thing I get made fun of, but they're literally the same shade with the same logo on. And why wouldn't you wear them together? I mean, right? But, like that was the thing back in the day. Like you were supposed to, but it never know, looked. Very I'll good. say this though. Never. Summertime, I do dress a little better because I like. You like in the winter, thin button ups, huh? <laughs> in winter, it's like I don't care. I just want to be warm. I don't really care about where I'm going out. Number one, if I'm going out to shop. Now I'll put decent clothes on to look somewhat respectable. He's but going, if he's going out, if you're shop, going to shop, yeah, yeah. like if Hannah like and I go out, like if Hannah got Hannah and I go out somewhere, I'll I'll, I'll make a point to look like she wouldn't be embarrassed of me. <laughs> <laughs> but for well, the nice most part, I'd turn the shirt around so the shit stain isn't shut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. out of just out of respect for my girlfriend. Like I'll under, only wear my underwear three times. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. But no, I I just when I go out, I'll make somewhat of an effort. If we're like coming here to do a show, I 
I don't yeah, really care. I agree. Well, here's it's the deal. Yeah, and actually, here's here's the hypothetical. Since you're so big on hypotheticals, um, obviously, I hate the word popular, but you were a, no, a well known kid, and everybody liked you. So my question to you is, when you say people were making fun of you, with a lot of it right now, it's just tongue in cheek. If you were a if you were a kid that not everybody knew and liked, would you have done that? Because you would have hands down been a fucking target for somebody hands down to get mm-hmm. picked on. I I mean. <laughs> It's a good question. I don't know. Though, I mean, well, I, but, but nobody. I, well, I'll say nobody this. was gonna ever make. Nobody ever like made fun of. Like nobody was ever no, yeah. going to come up. Jeff to never got bullied or anything no. like well, that. No, but what about Jeff's question? No, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are people that did say. I mean, you know what? What? What is? What are we doing here? <laughs> what have we? But do? I mean, I, for the most part, I, I'd say, like he said, nobody really cared because they knew I didn't care. But in that scenario. Do you think it would have changed your mindset? That I you would think have been a little so. bit more like as in, man, I need to be a little bit conscious because yeah, I think Jared so. Dobrik but I mean, beat the piss out of me. Again from there's where a, blew hey, there, there's the probably thing. some people we went to high school listening to this right now, probably like, yeah, we used to make fun of Job all the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. I probably was. I just, I don't know. And then I found out about like, uh, uh, well, my about about my senior year, I switched, and I was like, I had to, you know, I took care of myself, and I. <laughs> And took, now, now I'm bass, now shower, I'm became, now shower, brush my like, teeth. <laughs> now I'm on the back. Used end. to be an option. Now I got to do it every yeah. day. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I mean, there really isn't anybody you have to look nice for anymore. I mean, well, he just said it. when he goes yeah. shopping, he wants to look nice. No, right. but I'm saying, like Cooley Loafers. said, I do feel a little bit better when I do have yeah, decent I, clothes. I think that's on. just natural to yeah, feel I agree better. That. You feel a little bit better when you have decent clothes on. Yeah. In wait, what regard? Wait, like, here's the thing, though. These shoes that I have on, you can't see them if you're just listening to this, obviously. But these shoes are like Uggs shoes. And I they wear them now because, I number one, I forgot I had them. Number two, they're easy to wear and I don't have to tie them. <laughs> <laughs> very, 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 back to, very back, important. Better listen, back That's to Jared's point. Very yeah. important. Yeah. Second of all, you guys, meaning Coach and my mom, were of the assumption that I should wear these out like – as as nice shoes, and I think these make me look like some girl that wore pajama che- pajamas and ate Cheetos in high school. I don't. Uh, the only Does that reason girl have a name, uh, a specific name. There's a plot probably in. like oh. Amber Lynn or something like oh. that. Yeah. Uh, but no, too. Wow. I think these That's make like me look intense. like a bum. But you guys, every, when I did, when I told you that, you're like, "What do you mean? Those are nice shoes." And then I put them on, and you made fun of me because I wear them a lot now. <laughs> well, I know exactly why you wear them a lot. You, you would wear them to do anything. They would be your dirty, middle, and good shoes. Well, that's how it is hey, for any because shoe. Because days are very, very easy to put on. They're do, simple to put on. Boom, boom, you're gone. Do the shoes if, make the man or the man make the shoes? Ooh. Good I, question. I'm I think the man, the man makes that's the shoes. man makes the shoes. So, Job, know. you rock whatever the hell you want. That's exactly right. And, it, whatever and actually, you, a lot of it really you. does come back. And I said so to piggyback on it's confidence. It's the fact of matter. It's how you carry yourself rocking those shoes, right? At the end of the day, if you walk in and you feel comfortable and you feel proud and oh, your chest is out a little bit, like, fuck everybody look, else. Have right? you guys ever seen uh-huh. – I know I, I'll, I would use this as an example because you guys all know him. But if you've seen Mark Cuban, you see how he – like if you see him at a game – Always t-shirt jeans. He's a billionaire. It's like Adam Sandler. Yeah, like he just he's bad. Me. And uh, if you ever watch the show Billions, uh, Bobby Axelrod, same thing. Like I think it's so cool. Like I think it's awesome. If I, if you were a billionaire, that's how I would want to be. Well, now, like I just like I'm doing whatever I feel like doing. Mm-hmm. I'm setting the trends because I got twenty five billion dollars. Yeah, and I who think cares what people now, think? Now, like those big baggy t-shirts are a thing now. People wear that. He wears my clothes now because they're big on him, and I like I, that's like a trend to. to I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's coming up. Coming. I around think people now. should just do what they want to do. Here's a question: As long as they match color wise, I'm all right. Yeah. Jobs clothes now. Yeah, you wearing big bros clothes? Yeah, no. he steals my <laughs> hoodie. Like, like I do it very. I had a m- nice Miami hoodie that, that I wore. Oh he yeah, wears I see it he now. wears it. Yeah. That's. It, By the way, that's not his, that was yeah, yours. That was that was, that was yours. Yeah, I don't know how nice it is. Yeah, yeah you, yeah, it's, Matt it's, gave it's, that it's to. Ratty. It's beat up. Yeah, yeah and you, but anyway, you gave that ratty. to Coach. Yeah. But he wears my t-shirts now. That I was that like a lot. I I make sure to go into Jub's room and steal all of his no, t-shirts. No, there was a, a box lot. of XL t-shirts. Yeah, and they were mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, you weren't gonna wear them. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Nice like college baseball shirts that I like. So. Anyway, what's anyway. the longest you've gone without showering? <laughs> oh my god, Ooh, boy, that's tough. I mean, maybe when I'm sick, like a day and a half. I, a lot of times, I, I, I just, 
I get like uh, my hair turns like a greasy otter, right. yeah. so I have to, I have to, I have to wash it. I look like yeah, I look like yeah, oil, too, yeah, coming out of my head. Yeah. So no, so, I, I would say it, uh, if if I went past a twenty four hours, it would be extremely rare, yeah. extremely I mean, rare. Oh, yeah, yeah. Plus my feet, so, like so I can't get in bed with dirty feet. Like I'll come home from being out somewhere, I'll wash my feet. Like I, I can't go to bed like that. Where do you wash your feet? Like run the shot like in the tub like oh stick I do mine in the sink. sink. <laughs> well I, I tried it. that I before. I but, did that but you got to be. I mean, if you've been drinking. If, yeah, you tough. can fall and Woo. crack yourself. That's Plus tough. one time I cracked my toe on the side of it and it <laughs> eyes so you lift those big paws up hurt. on there. Oh, huh? I got good. Oof. My hips are great flexibility. I get I can get them up there. Well, hey, can you put you put your socks and shoes on standing up on one leg? I'm pumped to hear this. Let's go back to the to the shower. What? What's your well, what was long? the question you asked? Oh, I said, what's well, the longest you, you've gone without showering? Curry, I would say Curry went 11 days here, one time, I, Joe. I know he showers every day. I'm sure he does. I oh. shower every day. No shot. <laughs> here we go. I can't function. Here we go. Here if we you ever go. gone 11 I'm days? Glad. I can't wait. To, I go. cannot truly function. You know how um, mm-hmm. I can't function without a shower. Are you a I morning shower guy? I'm 100% a morning yeah, shower guy. Um, I know you're not, though, right? No, I am. I, I somebody. In my, see, I, I don't usually so get a morning shower. So yeah, I'm you're eat, like but, you but, exercise in the morning, and I got yeah, to get that's a shower. I don't. Yeah. I well, I guess technically I am. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a a wake up and shower guy because I'll go lift and then I'll come back and shower okay. then in the morning and then I'll probably shower again at night. So I'm, yeah, I, I usually shower twice a day yeah. at least. Sometimes I'll shower three. Yeah, it might be if like if you're working outside or you're you know mm-hmm. whatever you may. So have what about three. you, Marcus? I'm one one a day. What in the morning? Uh yeah well it depends if if I'm going painting, gonna paint no no I'm yeah. I'm up gone when I come back I shower okay and then done for the day and then the same yeah, if you're doing physical labor I don't shower no more like if you're gonna go oh, and no, work no, no, outside no, no. and no, I don't know how people can work out and come home and not shower yeah well, that's like, like that's just, like but, the, but why like, would that scenario Jared gave so the girl with the why would dirty guys ass shower before they go to work out. <laughs> And I know guys that do that. Why would you go shower? Why would you shower nah, before you go work? You got he's, cool. He's done that. Before. People I'll do be that. I'll be honest. I hate to Why? throw shade my what? brother's what? way, but Luke Doyle does that. People I'll do that. that. Before you go I, but I'll be honest. Like if I had what your like job was and stuff like that, in order for me to just get motivated, I would have to get the shower in the morning, even to go paint. Really? Yeah. You know, just mm-hmm. because of the fact where like I'm getting up, I need my little cup of coffee, get I showered, know, and stuff that. like that. Uh, but then I would come back and shower again. That's a great point. But yeah. here's the deal. But I'm going to talk out of both sides of my mouth. Like the day that we were cutting trees down in my backyard, I didn't wake up to shower then. Right. Um, like if I, because I'm just going to be in my backyard. So yeah. it really isn't so much like a cleanliness thing. It's more like I'm going to wake, wake up, up kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Job, so let's go back to the longest you've gone. Yeah, let's go. I'm no, excited I, about it's this. It's not a crazy number. I mean, may, maybe two, three. Like once I get, now that I'm like, now that I'm me. I don't know. Who were you means. before? <laughs> yeah. No. Not, no, I mean, now that I'm older and I like. Post Now you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, that doesn't matter. But. Uh, but <laughs> uh, it's probably no, made it worse. I, um, well, not well you- what a problem is for me is my hair is so long now that that in and of itself is such a chore to get washed and like I got to, I gotta, like, dry it. And I watch it, I don't even do anymore. So now it's just a pain to get, like, untangled and washed. Uh, so, I mean. I'll try to uh, try. I'll try. Put I'll some water on my, I'll try to put some water on my body. <laughs> if, if he gets around to it, he'll shower. <laughs> I mean, just wake up and shower, man. I don't know how like people that go days without shower. I don't, I don't like, go days without shower. Well, I'm not talking about. You. I said, don't you find that more girls do that than men? Do you guys know yes. girls? Yeah, but I know a lot stink. of girls that are filthy, disg- and like <laughs> like good looking <laughs> oh, girls who sh- you wouldn't think, but they like they don't ever shower. That's it's like what well, is like wrong a lot of people you? just won't wash their hair. Yeah. Ew. I'm a big body shower day. guy. Yeah. What's it, that? that over at the brew works. You said something about if a hot chick. Man, that's what shower. I was yeah. referencing. A few yeah, yeah. In I'm shower. Like, Wait, yeah, what I was clip that. I mean, that's over at the, it's on our social talking, media. Yeah, that was actually good. But brew, we were talking about if she was a 10, but she only showered once a week. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you guys. That would be a no. That'd be a oh, big you were yeah. just, oh, you were discussing this on a podcast. Yes. If oh, I was completely bald, I would get three uh, three showers a day. I'd go in, I'd be like a little baby seal. I'd get in one wipe and I'd be done. See, baby to me, seal. it should be the opposite. Like, you have, your hair is not going to be messy or nothing. Like, then I think you should shower if you have long hair. Like, that's why I shower because my hair gets like matte where it gets super, like, yeah. oily. See, like, mine doesn't anymore. Mine, I, I, well, number one, I think there's a fact that it's like the, obviously, the more you shower, the more your body produces that oil because it knows. 
that you're getting rid of it, and that oil is really good for your hair. So you're saying we should go longer without showering? Well, not and, like and break days, the curve, but like like I I know Hannah now be, being around girls and understanding what a girl is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they take ma- they they Jeez. take way more care of their hair than. That was probably awesome. any guy that I've ever met in my yeah, life. That's like a big deal to them. I told her and her friends that I use a three in one, a conditioner. Oh, well, don't tell they were them appalled, that. right? You'd think I said I killed people on my off time. <laughs> oh, that's well, that's do that's a one. sin to them. Oh, they said Hannah said if she would have known that before she started talking to me, she wouldn't even bother. Yeah, really? That'd have been a deal breaker. Deal breaker. Wow. Yeah, well, they, don't well, like they gotta have the expensive like conditioners that. and all that oh, shit. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, not, that's not supposed to be bad. I know my mom's gonna. Go into that. I know my mom's gonna listen to this. <laughs> you should see the amount of elixirs and potions. Uh, I know. My I've, mom I've has. seen showers of women's pro. I mean, they got we like forty different kinds. Now, we, well, this one I use on Tuesday. This one I well, do Thursday. Got, this is Saturday. Because we have the the, the uh, what was it? What was the tub thing? Bath fitters. Bath fitters, and it has a. We have a. A corner caddy, which right. has three. We have a corner, two quarter caddies. Two, two, yeah, two corner, and then two corner, um, you know, little shelves in the corner. Yeah. Plus the tub run. That everything is filled, and I have like. I have shampoo, shaving cream, and and body wash. I mean, if it wasn't for you, Ooh, I'd I just got a question wash, on that. Thing. I'd just use water. I wouldn't even use soap. <laughs> oh my god! Job, I got a question. Job, have you ever bought body wash or shampoo ever? Yeah, if I'm going on vacation or something. But, but like, I don't care. That's the point. You care what you put in your hair. I don't care. I could. Why? It could be hand soap that put in my hair. I don't care. But why don't you? Yeah, care? but why? Yeah, because but what's it, it matter? Yeah, I'm trying to make like a towards difference you, in like, how your hair. No. It, well, I've tried out other tried, products. I've they tried, don't do a whole lot. I've, for like a couple days, I use mom stuff. <laughs> and I use your stuff. And mom stuff and rotates. your stuff, it literally made no right? difference. Yeah. Literally made no difference. Yeah. So well, I think a lot of that's marketing appeal. Yeah, I mean, say. It's, it's like it, it's uh, it's like the. Uh, the no, I don't know about using like hand pump soap to do the shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. just oh, saying I that know, that's what it came. I know to. for me, I so, switched a nice a nice shampoo and a nice conditioner. It it makes my hair feel. So you're a lot not buying better. the uh, the when the shampoo says for oily to. No. So I mean, I've used it, but I've used dry. other ones, and I have not found any of them that are doing like they can't that they can hold off my hair getting greasy for yeah. 24 hours. I mean, it's, I literally don't know what all the stuff. I mean, I always that, buy nice stuff, but mother, it's like it doesn't do anything Cheryl's different, like, you know. With, with her, oh, ridiculous. Well, it's, it's and there's a thing. I it's, don't. I can't understand. What it all could be for? Well, there was really a, there's can't. this new thing called it's called Olaplex, and I don't know, I, I'm not sure when it. Was, I think like last year, a couple of years ago, it kind of became popular, and it's like uh, five. I think it's like f- five it's steps. multiple. There's like five different things. It's like Olaplex one, two, three. I think three is the what, big for one. Your hair? You're talking about for your for hair your hair, yeah. The, no, for your hair, it's like there's like five different things that that wow. you that, it's that they all, use. Uh, it's all. And apparently, like, it's like f- like. Ridiculous expensive, but I guess it's like crazy good for your they hair. Probably on QVC but if or you something and if you shower the same time that this person with Olaplex showers, and then you shower twenty four hours later, it's not like this person's going. It's not like the you guys are going multiple days without showering. Who it doesn't matter. I don't think any of so, that matters. So you're not saying no healthcare product. Is no, better than another because my hair. I I put three in one in. I put body wash in my hair. I put. I, I'll literally put anything <laughs> you in. Put my body hair. wash in your hair. Yeah. Well, what? Let me ask you. Uh, job. I think it's all soap product. Let me it's ask you. Fine. What do you know? What is the difference between shampoo and body wash? One's for your body and one's for your. But hair. But why is it that? Well, I don't. I didn't look Cause, into cause it. Because they know. want you to buy exactly. both. That's why. Exactly. So what's it matter? They both smell good. They both clean. I, I probably couldn't argue that. Put, yeah. put in your hair. I don't think there's much difference. And I'll tell you this. Every single time I wear my hair down, every single girl that comes up to me says, I have nicer hair than them. Every one of them. I guarantee you. We could go out and do <laughs> I, it and I'll take my that. hair down. I believe that. And I don't. I take shit care of my hair. <laughs> shit care. Shit care. I wear it up. It's tangled. So when I they brush ask, it what's out. the secret? You say, I use body wash. What's the se- There is no secret. Just use whatever. It's like the Hulk. Three in one, bitches. Three <laughs> yeah, in one. that's Three all that matters. One. What uh, you brought something up about showering when you're sick? 
Do you guys, because I would like, here's the deal though. Like, it's one of those things if you're truly, truly like down and out sick and it's hard just to get any motivation, but it, it, you do feel better usually once Absolutely. you get, but unfortunately, yeah. it's getting that motivation to oh, get in the shower. Right? And, then, oh, and then after, especially if you got chills and you get the hot shower, then you feel good for a while and then you end up feeling right really but terrible again. Then you start shivering yeah, real bad. It does revive you. You feel better. Yeah. It's, it's just. Hey, how about this uh, description? Because I looked up what the difference between shampoo and body wash was. This is amazing. From cosmetics and toiletries, shampoos are specifically formulated to clean and take care of the hair, whereas body wash is liquid soap that is appropriate for cleansing the body. Thank you. This one says... That's a, that's a yeah, really scientific earth, answer. Earth shattering here. This one from Birdie says, Despite their similar similar texture and body size... Shampoo lacks the skin-specific ingredients in body wash and can leave your skin feeling stripped. Okay, so so me using body wash on my hair is good. Actually, you know what? Here's the deal, because I hate to play devil's advocate. I do. I think some of it is a ploy, and do I think it's a salesman's pitch? I 100% believe that. But I do believe that there's people out there. There's smart people. There's chemists and stuff like that that are learn that know what's good for certain hundred percent dog body for men maybe yeah i because i don't think if, i mean let's be honest you not really minus maybe a shampoo there's a lot of female products that we're not using i mean a great example is uh deodorant like i mean it's not that it won't work for you but we 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 um we sweat differently as male and yeah, female. we're like yeah. apes <laughs> hey that's one that's one thing i won't i won't uh, skimp on deodorant yeah. body wash shampoo i get the best i can get dove plus <laughs> dove men plus care whatever the most expensive uh, thing that, is i it, can get you have you ever forgot to put deodorant on no no it's the most debilitating thing <laughs> like I, I, I have I, to say i think there was a couple of times that i have and but i always have usually when if i have a backpack i'll always have like yeah. a yeah, toothbrush I, I in there smart. just yep. in case in a little thing just in case i always put i have one in my the glove box i have yeah. the other in the glove yeah, box just in but case. i i there have been a couple times where i get somewhere and i'll just be doing something random i'll like reach over usually and go, if you get oh, into your shit. routine you don't forget as much yeah. but you know on a weird day where it's not your routine then maybe. and i'll go oh shit i'm bad like uh, well they got those so- deodorants now that say 72 hours have you guys ever tested those no, I, no. I would never go them. 72 hours without showering no, no, so no. i would hey, never know i one point. day we were at um <laughs> We were. I'll tell you exactly where I was. I was in the calf at West Liberty, and I, I was smelling myself. I think it was before a game or something. And, and <laughs> I said some really wild things today. And <laughs> this it, is a Christmas. I wasn't smelling myself. Smelling myself. Smelling myself. Smelling. A very Christmas, Christmas, Christmas themed show. I wasn't like on the ground sniffing great. my arm. I want to hear this. But I was doing something. And I and I caught a whiff. And I was like, oh, I for totally forgot to put deodorant on. And they have those pump hand soaps. Yeah. And I, I remember this. Holy thing. shit, I'll I do up, remember I'll this. I'll go up under. Sometimes just with, if you're jammed up and that's all you got, that's I what had you got to use. Something. I had and to it do burned you. It yeah. Burned? yeah, that's not. No, you wouldn't horrible. want to do that. Yeah. It was horrible, but I felt better. I, I remember that because you were bitching about it because it burned you. and you yeah. were, And I said, See, well, why did you do Armpits are very sensitive. I don't know if you guys ever had deodorant that break you out. Oh, You got to watch. That's terrible. Because you could get. I mean, that's a really sensitive area. I think that's kind of the point. It really is. There is certain areas, yeah, really certain absolutely. things. Like so you got glands up in there that are not that shouldn't be clogged up with that soap. Yeah, it's but like, then it's probably like, oh my god, or we're burning or so. Jubs follicles and pores are probably so clogged oh, up. From, from he, but he's uses. probably healthier than all. Of us. I know they probably doesn't even like. Well, his body survive. doesn't even react to it anymore. I, I, I mean, I don't think that we were meant to put any of it on our skin. I don't think you're we're probably meant right to put any of it. And on actually, our skin. I can't go against that either. He so says I see both sides of it. I do. I really see. How bad do you think people know, smelled the back in the day? Because the life expectancy back then was like 20 years old, so I think we. That's were a valid point too. No, but that's <laughs> yeah, but I'm not saying not being clean is a is like not they bathed being, in the river like, every bathing day, bathing and cleaning yourself. Obviously, that's dandy. something you should do, but I don't think putting uh, Dove X Mega, you know, butthole cleaner on your <laughs> on your. Butthole. Yeah. Speaking of that, B- have you guys seen the commercial for that Lumi stuff? Have you guys known anybody that used it? Uh-uh. You guys haven't seen it? What uh-uh. is it? Lumi? Yeah, it's fucking everywhere. I, I, don't, you know? I don't think. Good I don't know. God, yeah, fucking everything I watch has it on there. What is it? It's that. It's that. It's like cream for. It's called uh, uh, full body deodorant. Oh Jesus! I've never yeah, heard of really. It. I don't think I've seen. Really, it. I gotta look it up. I've I can't believe you know, you guys have heard of it. It is literally on the commercials on a hundred. Uh, L-U-M-I. Jer- L-U-M-I. L-U-M-E, maybe? Or M-E-E? But anyway, they made a man version of it. And it's supposed to be, you can put it on your armpits, 
down under your crotch, your butt crack, like all, all uh, over L- yourself. L- the girl L-U-N-E. says it on the to pull the commercial. I, but I, I don't. Wait, um, Matt, I, it's coming back to me. It's on it's, all the time. It, Blonde hair girl. Because the lady yes. says she's a. She's you can a, put it in your crotch. In your and you crotch. Don't have to worry about the crotch. Yeah, and smell. she says under I, your I boobs. That. On and there's all yeah. the, like, it's expand. Yeah. Oh, okay. They got we a got it was for women, and then now they got one called Amanda. There's the girl. Holy shit! No, here it is. I saw it, Matt. I did. It's on. There she is, right there. She talks about the. She's a she's a gynecologist, but now she's got a men version. I've never seen this before in my life. Wait, so, uh, so if you're just, just watching this, this is like a deodorant product. Uh, go check it out. I guarantee you most of our listeners had to have seen this. Well, we can get a starter pack. I can't pack. imagine not. I think we should test this on the uh, show. <laughs> we can get a starter pack, get more than 30% off. And we're going to let Job not shower for a week and see. Yeah, I wonder, here, if, that, I wonder if that was on Shark Tank. I wonder if they, she did that on Shark Tank. She may have. It's over she, here. But, I mean, it's taken I, off like a man. I never knew anybody that tried it. This produced, uh, She. I mean... Come on, she's gonna make a zillion she's dollars. Sure. On I think this. I think she's doing really well because she's got a man version. They call I mean, it Mando, which reminds me of Mandalorian. We can sit and do something like that. Come up with some stupid thing. Well, that she is a doctor, would... and like so, probably. <laughs> oh, she a, a little, doctor? Yeah, she's a certified well, gynecologist. Pine room soap, coach. Uh, do, well, it doesn't even. Oh, that's something. our next adventure. Pine uh, soap. Pine room body. Well, bath salts, Joe. Have you ever used those? Something. Yeah. So there's got to be <laughs> what something. What are those supposed to do? I don't know. Marcus, I don't have time to take a bath. It's so disgusting. Like people are gonna buy that. When's it? Just when's it's everywhere. Get get put it all over you for your crotch smell, for your feet. And really? you're why good. can't you do that with regular deodorant? It's probably not made for that. I I, I think she's got this product that can do Every things they then, can't. It is safe for your skin. Oh, it I'll put go. a I'll put a line on my thighs. Oh, does it burn? I thought you were no. gonna say underneath. Okay. No, no, no. I'll just go like one under, thigh. Un, they a said under your under so your they don't testicles. Rub? No, just just like I don't know. I like sometimes it's like if I'm running around or doing something. I don't know. I just feel like to have. How like, about if I'm sitting down? How I'll about like to, powder, you, job? You do you, you ever use that on your thighs? Just like on the yeah, just some of the th- just a what the hell's the point in that? Uh, at not the odor. Heavy powder. Heavy powder. ball powder. Powder, yeah. Powder on my nuts. Ball powder. Ball batter. That's what it is. It's ball batter. Wait, do you what? I like, taught every day. Go, you go quick gooch swipe no. with your deodorant? Ew. No. <laughs> Ew. What, also, a, what, a, what a show. When, right? he uses <laughs> that, when he uses that ball powder, I always know he does it because it's all over the toilet seat. <laughs> My dad was like that, too. All over the it's floor. like ball batter. It looked literally like he was getting ready to fry <laughs> fish in there. It's like... <laughs> You know, like what a guy. You know, like what that shit is and funny. He, and then he would say, uh, <laughs> you know, like in, in a weight room when a guy's got he puts chalk yes. on his hands. That's LeBron what the toilet. Does yeah, he was like. getting ready to, to deadlift. Santa Claus and, over. Santa Claus is. Uh, How'd it go? They're wrapping up the. Uh, a lot of good kids. The, 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 a lot of good kids. The elves are heading back to the oh, North Pole okay. across. Are you the, one across of Across the hall. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty, though. 100%. Yeah, but uh, like I think all that stuff is like you just put that on there because you don't want to chafe, but you want to go. They, uh. Hi, Bobby. Bobby just walked into the our elf, podcast. The, elf, uh, the elves are, no, are, are stopping the elves. by. The elves are stopping by. The elves. The elves are stopping by from the North Pole. Is it good? It's, it's been unbelievable. Oh, here. I can it's, imagine. I can't wait. Usually to hear it. when we're here, Bye, there's buddy. nobody here. Usually when we record yeah. at the studio, nobody uh, nobody's down here. But what. We were talking about the ball the powder, nut powder. Yeah, ball that makes powder. me happy though. That really does make me oh, happy. Yeah. What? I'm just the fact of matter that you guys just you know makes us w- way more relatable, right? That Mark Delbrook throws a little ball, goddamn <laughs> yeah. shit on. Do you, get, you use the, you use the gold bond you. or you use like uh, the regular? Because uh, that, uh, that gold no, bond will burn. Uh, you guys uh, ever had Johnson that? Johnson and Johnson. Do you ever use that medicated powder that burns? Yeah, well, Nick that's, loves that's, it. I, I tell you, it does kind of make that's you feel for like. Chafing, right? I was gonna say yeah. that's probably because Nick's all fire red. Yeah, he, he's, fire he's red got chafing God, issues. Yeah. I know that, but like I'll use it in my in my feet sometimes because I don't have as bad a feet smell as Jared, but uh, close. And I, uh, and not I anymore, put it in there and it's like burns. I'm like, wow. Well, it's uh, it probably is, it's probably good for. for I mean, like uh, it'd be like putting a layer. It's like uh, oil in your engine. It's like it puts a, a lubricant. <laughs> not, but it's not lubricant. It. it it yeah. prevents the from the parts rubbing. I get why That's people use it. I no, do. No, 100%. Right. Well, I'm, all I'm right now is I'm envisioning Mark Delbrick. You're not fucking the dickhead that we don't like. Uh, LeBron James before oh, every... Yeah, every <laughs> <laughs> I can see before Mark goes out drinking. That's his inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> he throws that would be awesome. Evo, get out of here. I don't know. <laughs> Evo comes out all fucking white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> she helps uh, put it on. But it's <laughs> cool. unbelievable. You asked right. about you asked about my my deodorant on the inside of my thighs. Yeah. In the summertime, like if you're wearing shorts and stuff, cools. I know for a fact I've been with you that you've been like you you get a little wafted up. You a little you get a little. What the hell does that? Well, you got mean? like slime so running down your. If you got a little deodorant on the inside of your thighs, you you it kind oh, of. Hold on. The hell are you trying to say? I don't even know. Like you, like I know Dirty you smell your own nuts. Yeah, yeah, you get a I've, little. What do you mean? You've been with me and you know I was like that. I no, don't think because I've, you that, said that to me. No, that's, like, that's never got, like happened. sweat running out of his no. shorts. Oh, like, I, I've never been in that spot like that, and I definitely don't need to put. You should get on that stuff. Thigh. No, cool. I'm not saying like we're out to eat and you go, oh man, I'm smelling my nuts right now. No, I'm talking about like we've been out <laughs> working out or something or doing something, and you go. You go, yeah, I got, I got to get a shower. But like, in well, I that, mean, I might have needed a shower. But in that yeah. scenario, it's like I know I have to shower, but at least I don't smell like, like I'm not inhaling my own fumes. Yeah, well, I'll tell you this: putting deodorant on your armpits helps with that. I don't need it on my no, thigh. I'm not saying don't put it on your armpits. I'm saying put it down low, so then that also works. Double time. I mean, I don't think you know. I, I don't think there's a problem with it. No, no I, I, I just don't think I need to do it. That's all. I think you should try that Mando Lumi stuff. But here, I, I want to ask it. you guys this question because I know every one of us has been in a position where it's like, at one point or another, you like smell yourself and like, fuck, I don't smell that good right mm -hmm. now. Whether you're working or whatever, and and but we all have access to being able to bathe at any time we yeah. want to. Mm -hmm. Have you guys smelled? I'm sure, probably, Coach, you may have, and Jeff, in your <laughs> oh, experiences, yeah, yeah. if you guys ever really smelled somebody who hasn't oh, bathed, yeah. and oh, I'm geez. talking like for yeah. uh, like uh, weeks, we, we had that yeah. in school. Kids. Absolutely, oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, Kroger's describe. a few times. It's it's it, 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 it chokes it you tough, up. It, it is a tough. It's, a, it's smell not even like because when you, smell but it, it isn't like anything I've ever smelled. No, like no, I can tell you that you can't describe it. No, it's not. It knocks you out. It's not bo. It's not poop. It's not pee. It's like a combo. Yeah, like sweat and just it's a stew. It's like I was in Kroger last week and there was one of them homeless people in there. Horrible. I it's mean, clothes, two dude, aisles over, I was like, oh, boy. Like, I know there's one around here, and there it's he like, was over by the meat case. <laughs> such oh, a God. must. It's like a musty, yeah, like I, a... I, I, like it's, a it's, my dad always It almost smells breath. like... I bet... I don't know. I never smelled a dead body before, but... Oh, my God. I bet it has it's probably some pretty close to relation it. to that. What is Ronnie saying? It always smells like that Southwest Chipotle sauce at uh, Subway. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. Ew. Well, I guess, wow. I'm I guess I'm never eating that again. But I don't care how rich, poor, middle class... Here's the deal. You can take time to put some water on your body. 100%. I agree. Aren't there even yeah. places that you can go for free to do to like? Oh like, uh, yeah, I'm sure. Because they're truck pumping stop. stations like and stuff like yeah. that. And just not having clean clothes, man. Can you yeah. imagine that? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Like not having clean socks and like. Oh. Well, we used to have oh. a lot of kids like that. Yeah, school. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, we, it's we, overwhelming. We would make sure that we got him a shower and right. got him clothes. And what? How, actually, what? That's a really good point. Like, have you ever had to have that conversation with an adult? No. No, and I, I, I don't there's think many. Can. I don't I know how you can. Yeah, yeah you, there's, there's many. Have you? How do you bring it up? That's <laughs> you have. What have you? When? Just from a standpoint, probably about within a year. Like a medical Recently. in a medical field. I, that's the part. Oh, like geez. actually, the wife could probably tell a million stories. But oh, geez. being in healthcare, I love to like, get her on and like tell about some of the fun. People are just seen. dirty, and it goes back to truly just not giving a fuck, man. Mm -hmm. it, I guess my question to you, and this is crazy, if you knew that you were going to go um, to the doctors and you your region was going to be checked out. Yeah, for a specific, you're, you're, you're gonna make sure that you're, you're clean, clean it up. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I there's can't imagine people that just don't care. I, mean, I can imagine the story she could tell. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I see no these. Shame. I see these kind of people no every day. So do you. No They're all over crazy. Warwood. It it, it <laughs> is um yeah it is it's fun. There was but, a, oh, I couldn't do we, that. We, I, I can't remember who was telling us this story. <sighs> I don't know whether it was somebody we knew or just somebody that we read online, but there was this morbidly obese woman that came into the ER. And she had been having some kind of issues, like bed sores or something like that. And they took yeah. her into this this yeah. room, Brittany and they're like, this, I think. they were they were checking her over, and they lifted up her like rollage, and there was a dead mouse. Now, I tell you who told that story it was Andrews. <laughs> Andrews, wife. Yeah. Andrew yeah, Koala's yeah, wife yeah, yeah, told yeah, that yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were gonna say like a Twinkie or something. No, no. Dead, mouse. dead mouse. I'll be honest, with you, that truly, like, I know, it probably floors a lot of people. Probably that does surprise. not surprise me. Oh yeah. no, no. You, Happy you, Christmas, everybody. No, I'm sure you've <laughs> yeah. heard. It's it just crazy though, yeah. but it's embarrassing. Though. And I get to the fact. Here's the deal: not caring just because you don't care what people think of you. I do respect that. 
but not caring where it causes harm or it's detriment to your health or yeah. whatever. Discomfort for other people. Discomfort for other people. Like I think that's a totally different I caring, agree. right? Yeah. What was the Christmas story? Not a creature was stirring. Oh, oh it was yeah, something with a mouse, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, even a mouse. Not, not even a mouse because he was dead under that yeah, woman's night, stomach. Uh, there we lap. go. That's Christmas related. The yeah. night before. Good I, lord. I was thinking about that's. This is like a totally I, different uh, topic. I, I was thinking about that. That's that little. Was that song? The, the night before yeah, poem. Christmas, a poem. A poem. Yeah, poem. We should make a poem for that uh, for the pine room, like the night before the pine room. Actually, it's funny because I've thought about doing that because there's been obviously I always see when the lights are on, and I've actually tried to, and I'm just not creative enough. But honestly, those that is pondered. My I've mind. thought I thought the about night it before too. the pine room. Yeah, the mm-hmm. night before pine room, and you're so and all, excited. And all like, through the house, I look well, I remember, over there and see the, the lights. Beginning of the football season, you were like, uh, you saw the lights a couple I texted. times. Through. You said, "Oh my God, I feel like it's uh, coming up on mm-hmm. Christmas." Good shit, though. I man. think we should, and, and this is probably never going to happen, but I think getting someone like Cheryl or Brittany or Andrew's oh, what and yeah. talk, tell some, if they, obviously confidentiality, but they don't have to mention HIPAA. anybody's names. HIPAA. Yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, they don't they, put they, they, could, they can tell what they've seen. They, they don't have to mention a name. I bet it would be incredible to hear what they've seen. Uh, people would. Well, you, you, you would, would not it would do even, well. Yeah, I think it we, would do well. we would have to put that. Oh, I guarantee it would do, do well, well yeah. I don't know if we like. Hey, can you imagine if you? I mean, I oh, geez, just I can't. I maybe you were. Maybe you, you know, because some people sit down and watch videos while they're eating, and somebody sits down and says, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna put the podcast on, relax, and probably talk about some funny stuff." And then we have them come in and they're talking about people's skin rotting off. We'll put and, a disclaimer on it. Yeah. Right? I mean, job if they listen right to the last podcast, they'd be a mess. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, that was yeah. Last episode was was a good one too. Yeah. yeah. yeah you if guys you talked about that, poop. I hear it. Like well, uh, everybody. Here's the thing. And if you listen to that podcast and you either had a problem with it or you were grossed out, every single person has been in the scenario that I've been in and that everybody else was in that we were talking about. And I know for a fact. He's coaching. Oh, yeah, we just, po- I, I just, I we just a posted a clip of it on on Instagram mm-hmm. or on social media. But here's so. the question: That's a really good point. Why? Okay, so we all shit. Why is it so taboo? That's weird. I just That's think. I, mean, it's right. I don't know. Is it, it though? Stinks. I can, oh, 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 you know, think so? oh, without taboo. a doubt, it's like taboo. if we went into a ca- yeah, into a cafe it, it and like we sat down with the guys from like the other businesses we work with and just started about talking about how they shit. I'm assuming they wouldn't like. I don't know. though. it depends on your on your the people you're around. I, yeah, I, but well, what, but in mainstream when, it is when you're when you when you very first you start dating your very your your girl for the first time nice girl what's the one thing that you would definitely not want to talk about? Well, the one right. thing you wouldn't want to do unless like you would definitely you wouldn't want to have to poop in her you, house. You wouldn't want to have to go poop in her house. No, no, that, that's, that's for like sure, right? dumb and dumber. That's, absolutely, that's, that's, there's a that's lot of shows happen. and movies that have portrayed that. Yeah. That's or, what would happen, dumb and dumber. Or even the conversation we just had from a standpoint. Or you just get it out of the way, right, Joe? Some skin skin issues or you know chafing or whatever i mean let's be honest if Fucking you just not, got not, we're not, up front and got it out of the way well 90 right, percent of america better. deals with it, it but it's ma- taboo see, people automatically want to think that it's um that oh that, that oh, that's weird well fucking probably most people go through that so why not talk about it absolutely no see but i i listen i totally agree with being open with that but here's the thing i disagree with saying it Right off the gate, unless it's something that's going to be go debilitating. By the way, let's talk about. <laughs> like you shit. pick no, the no, girl no, up no, the no, first no, time no, and you're say, missing my point. I got to stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> like listen. If yeah, you go out on a date and a girl's first thing out of your mouth, you guys, you know, what are you gonna have? I'll have the, you know, have the tilapia, and then she goes, "Hey, by the way, I gotta go take a shit." <laughs> like that's a red flag to me. Like, all right, like, this that's, yeah. that's called classless. Yeah. Yes. That's classless. But, <laughs> but, but, but maybe saying, that's the that's perfect classy. girl for you. Yeah. <laughs> but I th- that actually that I know is not what I'm talking. I'm talking more saying. from a standpoint of like it's like I guess another example of that would be sex. Most people like I think not that it's taboo, but it like a lot of people don't want to. Not that you should tell your sex like that's no, not no, 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 yeah. But I'm saying as in like like you bring that up and like everybody's like they shy away from the conversation. Well, I mean, 99 percent of fucking Americans, whether you're gay or straight, are having sex, <laughs> right? I mean, so I guess I'm just well, confused on why certain things that we yeah. all go through. It's weird, especially now, Jeff, because like the way that. There's no limitations on anything yeah. right yeah. now, except so I for guess that. It dep- yeah, it I think is. for the when, most part. Although sex is getting a little bit more out when, there. Yeah. yeah. But when in a classy see, way is what I guess I'm not see, saying. Just sitting here talking vulgar or whatever. Said, you, yeah. We said this last episode. We're talking about the, the hard-hitting stuff that people don't want to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. There we're it talking is. about. They should talk real. about shit. They should talk about shit shaving. on Fox. Shit. But I, I, I shit, sex, and shaving. We're just gonna say shaving was with an ass instead. How about Joe? What if tomorrow morning on the news they just said? President Biden shits his pants. Yeah, it'd be great. 
Well, I, gar- I guarantee well, that you happens they've, they've changed his diaper a few oh. times. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a fucking lot. And there's a lot of times he has poop in his yeah. pants when he's talking. Here's, here's, no here, here's he's the thing. Lay down, Joey. Lay down, Joey. It's okay. Legs up. <laughs> so it's, oh, it's okay. Joey. Legs up. Joey, Joey, two bones. It's okay. Joe, Joe. <laughs> hey, but no. Pat listen. Down, baby powder. Enough, enough Wait, John, thing. Tell, tell about the, the, yours. No, no, no. About and you might not want to talk about this, but but you can because what about you? What did you tell me that you and Hannah were doing the other day? Who you said she was? Said you said I got a fart. Oh yeah, I got a fart. A, you guessed my fart. And and she would make the noise. And she would make the noise with her mouth, and then I would I would respond with a fart. <laughs> And it wait, was a minute, a, wait a minute. So she, here's how it would go. And, ready? And, and she hit it right on. And yeah. Right on. Say, yes. So here's the thing. So ready? So I come into the room and I gotta go. I, and I know I gotta. Holy I, shit. I, I know I gotta. I got wind and I know. Okay. I, well, all right. He's he's got got I knew that I got wind. So I come into the room and I go. All right, Hannah. I got a fart. Guess my fart. And she'll go or something like that or and then I'll respond with the fart. And she nailed it one time and we went nuts. She got it right. And it was it. Well. Also, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Man, that's, <laughs> like, Matt's speechless. No, no, I'm like, uh, but, but you were worried. You were worried about the girl saying she had to take a shit the first time, but you're asking <laughs> no, her to get your fart. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what's but, much? There's not much different than that. No, but but we've also known each other for a year and a half now. Like, we're comfortable right. with talking about that. Okay. Now. Like on my first date, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go. Boy, this boss is good. Guess my fart. Like, <laughs> maybe she'd have been like, "This is the man of my dreams." <laughs> 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 but even now, shit. I mean, even now, I'm still like, I, I don't want to abs like, <laughs> her bed, her her bed is maybe ten feet away from the bathroom door. Like, I I know that if she's got the TV low and I go in there and I'm gonna blow it up, she's gonna hear it. I still what don't want her to hear it. it. Why? Yeah. Why don't you want to hear it? I got that covered. We Why talked about that last episode. Oh, okay. We, I, yeah, Matt, I think, or no, Jeff, I told that last episode. I wasn't Jeff here, wasn't here. Yeah. Oh, you weren't here. Yeah. Why oh, you wow, want, you guys missed Chris out. All right, we'll listen to it. Why then, don't you want her to hear you pooping? Because <laughs> it's just, I. it's one of those things. It's like, I listen, she knows I do it, and that's fine, but. You're the, farting in front wait, of her. But to the degree that I go. The degree that I go, I don't. So, I still so like, you so so you hold back, and like, I got some stories so, that I'll so, tell. Well, yeah, so later, you like have you got Jesus like you Christ. said uh, this uh, is last Christmas week that you had a category show. five. You're gonna Merry hold Christmas back everyone. a little bit. You're gonna like. Category you're gonna put a suppressor on. You got to. What about you? Gonna go in the yard and just shit. <laughs> I honestly would rather. I would. He'd be like a dog and kick the grass up. I have no shame. Listen, I get it. That's not something you want to have to do. Ah, no, 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 no. no. Stop. Stop. No, let's let's (laughs) stop. (laughs) Yeah, she might. She might be embarrassed by it. Stop. I know. I know. No, no. But here's what I'm gonna say. It wouldn't offend any of us if she's comfortable with that kind of stuff. I'm gonna give one statement though. At the end of the day, first and foremost, whatever your quirkinesses are, I think it's actually super cool. Number one, and I think it is really cool that you get to the point of comfort with somebody. Absolutely. And the fact of matter that you're okay with all those th- those types of conversations i'll be honest at the end of the day you guys will be perfectly fine well, fine well life, i right? think i really? think our family in general is a very is uh, as you can tell from Open. the past couple of podcasts bathroom humor is like a big part of our, our comedy like we laugh about it we talked about the last show that you know talking about our cousin tim's thing and stuff like that so it's like I'm I'm just gonna be who I'm gonna be to her. That's that's how I that's what I think yeah, is funny. Yeah. I think a fart is the funniest thing. Any fart, if you play a fart audio, I'll laugh at it. Like if you talk I about think farts, most people I'll laugh would. Oh, that one you played. I won't say whose it was, but <laughs> that one you played over the speaker. At the <laughs> pine no, room, it's fantastic absurd. though. Like that did not seem I, human. I totally it's fantastic was, though. No. It's absolutely fantastic. Can you find that, Jarrett? Uh, uh, not the not the one. But uh, I mean, like, if you hear it, like some people though, it'll be like you, if we're talking about this, and like you're, some people are gonna be like, oh, I, you know, that's that's a uh, too, speaking. I mean, that, people that's probably too. think that we're Neanderthals, yeah. like we talked on the radio today. It's Hannah called me a Hannah called me a caveman because I ate a grilled cheese out of the trash yesterday. Okay, context. Wait, wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, guys, and it just accidentally just... Like, it wasn't yours, <laughs> or you were at the mall and you found it. Like, <laughs> wait, you did what? I hope it was at your own house, at least. <laughs> and it fell into the garbage can. No. Uh, wait. Oh, God. 
<laughs> or I somebody had it in a styrofoam <laughs> container and it's they put as, it in the garbage. It's not as bad as it sounds. It's not, not as bad as it sounds Okay, that's what I said. Context. Yeah. Please explain. Yeah, sorry. I, Hannah had been eating. I made Hannah grilled cheese. Sure. Uh, two grilled cheese. She didn't. She ate like half of the, the second one. And she just sat it on top of the trash. Like it was just in the trash, kind of tilted over. So it was like kind of in the, like maybe like a half of the, six inches into the trash. Okay. With some other bags and like bottles and stuff. And I saw it in there and I said, you didn't eat that. And I just took it out and ate it. The best part about you asked her, are you going to eat that? (laughs) (laughs) She was probably done. (laughs) Probably a good indicator when somebody's done is (laughs) fucking trash. And she looked at me, she looked at me and I was like, I was eating. She just looked at me and said, you are a caveman. And then that was it. But back to our point, I think that like being able to do that in front of people is, is it's just the way. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't really change who you are. For no, one hundred percent. That's that's kind of my point. When you're yeah. at that comfort level, man, what? it's a now, great problem you, to have. If you would have dug down to the bottom of the yeah, trash yeah. Ooh, ooh, and ooh, it out, ooh, yeah, yeah, dog food can. It shouldn't like, have been touching any other garbage. No, like, no, no. It wasn't like covered in like old <laughs> sauces or anything. What was it sitting on top of? Actually, yeah, like, the other thing that makes me fly laugh paper was in there with it. You said she placed it right on top of the garbage, like it was a perfect start. Most people don't just place it so pretty, right? Like, hey, I'm gonna watch oh, this. Well, I'm gonna well, take my grilled cheese. It's like almost like she there. knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> right, exactly. Cool. No, I, 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 up, I tell you what, the, the look on her face when I did it did, it did not <laughs> indicate that she knew she I was gonna do that. So actually, but. quick question. I think I can honestly say that if it truly was on. I think I could see where I would maybe do that. And it's at home. It's not it's like at home out or had to be at home. Yeah, yeah. like at the end of the day, if it's on top, I, I mean, I depending on the context and the situation at home, I can maybe w- see that. I was hungry and I didn't want to make a whole another one. And I didn't want to make another one. And I didn't want to eat a full one, and it was there. And I now, if it was like four days old, I wouldn't. <laughs> you go. I shouldn't waste you food. Done with that? So. <laughs> Good job. There have been times when I will have leftovers and I'll close the box and I'll throw it into the trash. Oh, and get it and, out. And, 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 and it's in the box, not out of the box, but I'll have to push a little things away to get back to it. Oh. I mean, I've done that before. Oh. Just regretted the decision. Just get something else. But I mean, what's the cool? What is wrong with that though? And I'm not talking about like a school dumpster where there's <laughs> yeah. milk say that's and the where it smells and real night. bad. Yeah, I'm talking. How at long home. was it in there? It had to be in there for a few hours. Then, if there's other stuff. No, you said a couple days. No, 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 couple couple days? no, 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 no. Oh, I said, no, no. I said, I've never oh, done it over days. a couple days. Oh, Jeez, good oh, lord! Jesus. No, no. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I'll eat it, uh, like get it for lunch at like noon, and then maybe at three o'clock I'll go back to it. Like. No. I'll, <laughs> but let me ask you this, Cools. No. What's the difference between sitting it on a table? Because it's just surrounded by fucking garbage. Yeah, but it's not like in my room. It's not like apple cores and banana peels and old well, if you're chicken throwing food bones. away in there. What, I mean, why wouldn't you throw anything else away in there? But I'm saying in that scenario, Spit if it was in there. if it was covered in grime, oh, I wouldn't have done it. But I'm saying in a scenario where there's just plastic bottles and stuff like that, <laughs> I just so why, why throw cheese. it away then? Not well, because I didn't think I wanted it. Uh, I, gil- I can't support the this, grilled but. cheese wasn't laying next to like dryer lint or anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, like, uh, I had fly like paper and dryer lint. A few lint. like yeah. nail clippings off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would say Jub, oh, Lord. Jub is the closest Q-tips. human I know to a caveman for yeah. sure. I Apparently, I am in coach because we get up early oh yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but he was today. mad at that he didn't want to hear <laughs> that. no i wasn't mad i just said that's about he said that's useless, it's useless, useless to it he said that's useless heard. they did studies on yeah that. but job definitely is by far the closest thing to a caveman yeah that i, I would know agree. I that would i know agree. for sure happy christmas everyone <laughs> Yeah, Curry's so. pretty Happy caveman. Christmas. Yeah, I mean, I, I listen. Merry I guarantee Christmas. you, everybody, everybody has their own little quirks that they do. That uh, everybody would say the same thing. Oh, here's the deal: for anybody to admit that they don't got some weird shit going on, they're they're 100 lying. And, yeah. it, and now, granted, weirdness is relevant to the person. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you're weird. My weirds two totally different right, things. Right, but right. at the end of the day, 100. percent then you know what? They're not people that we probably want to hang out exactly. with because they're not relatable. Yeah. Exactly. Or they're fucking bullshit. Losers. Yeah. yeah. If you listen, if somebody if if you listen to the end of this podcast and you send us a message on social media about something weird that you do, we'll give you something just to prove that you know, Make I'm, it we'll really give you a good. half eaten grilled cheese <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from the garbage. Yeah, from the garbage. Yeah. Sandy, do you want to send us off? We want to worship everybody. Yes. From the Merry bottom Christmas. of our hearts. Actually, I, I, can, I, can I end on something else just as actually more of on a personal note? So Luke Doyle, unfortunately, uh, 
got pulled over during baseball oh, season. No. Like, no, no, this is out, but it, this is actually hilarious. He got pulled over during baseball season, actually the night after the OVAC game that he pitched and won the OVAC game. So obviously, probably a little bit excited, but the moral still still was a hundred percent wrong. Um, what was the infraction? Uh, speeding. <laughs> so. Um, he, he's been gun shy. Obviously, parents were a little obviously pissed about the situation. Yeah, so yeah. now he's gun shy. So the poor bastard got pulled over the other day. Not going too slow. Going too far. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> no way. But here's the best Shit. part about Wait, it. I think where? I, there, see, here's the there, I, first and foremost, funny. But second of all, I think he was, uh, I hate to say profiled, but I think he was profiled. You guys know right now on the stretch there in Wellsburg by the Wendy's? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, there's a state police barracks there, this and that. Quote unquote was going thirty seven and a forty. Shit, okay, not bad. what's wrong with that? The fuck is that? So I think he was profiled. I think young kid, blah blah blah, this and that. But he was pulled over, and that's what she said. I've, and she said impeding traffic. Wow. I've now I've seen people going way slower. Yeah, than I know. That. Well, I, a lot I, of grandma, I, there's I never a cop when I grandma need and him. grandpa. I mean, a lot of times that's what you'll run into is you know going. Uh, he now he did not get a ticket. I was gonna say she did he not got get a, a ticket, but but thirty seven hey, and a forty. Pick it up a little bit, son. Cheating <laughs> yeah. traffic. There's a school zone down here. You should uh, be he speeding. almost no. had to say her to her. Are, are you serious? Needless to say, I'll be honest. My poor dude was shitting himself because he was thinking I, he didn't even know. He actually even asked right from. I'm, I'm sorry, man. What did I do wrong? Oh, because like, he had no idea. And honestly, That's, look, I've never heard of that. Honestly, yeah. I've never heard so of that. Thirty seven and a forty. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. There's your. Uh, he, you drive slow. You go on the number, on the dot. You yeah. always are on what the dot. What else have I miles per hour? The fuck you want yeah. me to do? What do they know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I guess that uh, one. I'm not going to be an I'm, Send us home. Send us uh, home. No, but wait. What was... Oh, I was going to make a point. I totally forgot what it was. Uh, oh, on the way uh, to the radio today, I was pulling in... Or I was driving uh, past your house, mm-hmm. like getting close to your house, and there was a cop by app, uh, Lily's. Yeah. Like in that parking lot facing north. And I'm driving up, and he pulls out behind me. And there's a car in front of me, so I think maybe he's not getting out but, but me, but I thought, eh, it's a little odd. And I get nervous. As soon as the cop comes behind me, I'm done. Oh, I'm scary. finished. It I'm, is scary, though. I and I, and I, So I got to your house and turned right into yours and re- went around, and I got, right, I got behind him. And then I thought, oh, shit, he's going to think I'd... Like, Just fucking with him. He's going to pull me Yeah, now, now he's going to pull me over. But anyway, I always get nervous with that. Uh, happy Christmas, everyone. We hope you have a good uh, time uh, this weekend. And if, Tell them to listen to our radio. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I was going to say, if, if you don't have a party to go to or a friend to hang out with, you can hang out with us for five hours on Friday. Uh, from noon to five, we're going to be hanging out on the radio station. You can text us, call us. We're going to be doing some games and playing some music and having a fun time. So It'll be, it'll be more Christmas themed than this show. Yeah, so I hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put deodorant on, shower in the morning, and... Uh, Stay out Don't the eat out of the trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So until then, happy Christmas. We love you very Yippee. much. Uh, say you love your love you to somebody you know and be nice and all that jazz. So happy Christmas and until next time we'll see you here in the Pine Room. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho. <laughs>